shut up compressor. Okay, we are excitingly entering the home stretch of the P47M, and I'm getting on with little details. So, one of those is the rearview mirror that came with the Aries set. Remember that from a long time ago? And before I paint this, I'm going to go ahead and try out this uh, VMS metal prep, see how it does versus the gun stuff that I've got. I'm going to hope that this doesn't go pinging off into the underworld. The reason it's still partially on the fret is honestly just so I have a way to hold it. <laughs> because otherwise this thing would be in danger of pinging way far away. Okay, it's looking pretty good. Okay, well the mirror sets up, the next step is to go ahead and deal with the various lights. Now we've got a landing light over there on the port wing and over here on the starboard wing. We've got these three, I forget the exact term, if they're positioning lights, navigation lights, whatever. Uh, but basically they need to be three different colors and they need to be silver first. And we have a problem, especially with one of them being right in the middle of the insignia. So I don't know if this is gonna work, but in lieu of using Molotow or something like that, I'm gonna try using some Hasegawa mirror finish film. So we're gonna see if we can make this work. I do not know if a punch set will work with it because it tends to be kind of elastic. And so if I punch it, it might just stretch. The LFH here, the little fucking hammer. Oh, it punched it all right. Where is it? So it did come out, but it has some shit on it. All right, now the real fun part of this is getting it off the adhesive backing when it's so damn tiny. So I need to find my scalpel. There it is. That was dicey. All right. I'm gonna really, really, really hope this works. that might just do it. Coolio. All right, I'm gonna knock out the other two then and we're gonna do the uh, clears on top of them after that. Okay, we're back. 
got all the little dots installed. It's actually a lot less pain in the ass than I thought it was going to be. And we're going to be using AK Real Colors clears for this because I found that they are, I don't know, they seem to be kind of like a successor to the Tamiya clears. I'm going to need brushes. Toothpicks aren't going to cut it for that. All right, wish me luck. I'm going in. See, look how nice that goes down. Next up, we got green. So we've got red. Ta-da. Okay. Next, we're going to do this landing light with some Molotow liquid chrome. This stuff, I will uh, be the first to admit, is not my favorite, but for some things, it is extremely good. And one of those is doing lenses like this. Basically, just like so. Okay, now we're going to fill this guy in with some UV clearing glue. It's a little bit awkward to apply, so I've put it in a little tattoo cup here. This is not the moment for June bugs to be flying around. Thing has the hardest damn time focusing on this fucking bare metal. So, UV light. That looks pretty crazy on my monitor. Being a little bitch camera. Alright. There we go. There's a good view of the proceedings. Looks pretty nice. Okay. Focus, come on. Yay. They're not perfect, but 
Okay, so my plan is to paint this mirror with some Gaia Notes mirror chrome. Thinking I have is to paint the mirror first, come on, and then come back and possibly touch up the frame and the sides with more of just like maybe that ammo steel color or something like that. Okay, there's that mirror all painted up. Didn't go as shiny as I was anticipating. Maybe it's because the uh, photo etch surface isn't polished or something. It's a fucking mirror. In 148 scale. Close enough. Okay, while we wait for the mirror and all that kind of stuff, we're going to spray the tires with some MRP matte varnish. I do love how dead flat this stuff goes. Except there, where it... Really? That's frustrating. Everywhere else it's looking great. And then we have that one spot up there where it... Decided to go, hey, I'm gonna frost. Stupid idea time, give me a second. Double check that you're not spraying out any shit. Okay. So, loaded up some semi gloss. It will hopefully knock that stuff back. There we go. Okay. Like magic. Ready to clean up two airbrushes. Fucking June bugs. Swear to God. Okay. So while I stop to smash a June bug. the hammer gone ahead and taken the uh, clear flat and I've added some Mr. Rapid Thinner to it to hopefully counteract the chalking effect We're just going to mist that slowly, see how it does. I've got to hand it to Ultracast. These are some gorgeous looking wheels. Okay. With that, I think I'm going to call it. Okay, since we are well into the home stretch of the 
fireball build, it is time to deal with the brake lines for the landing gear struts, which are a pain in the ass in 32nd scale, much less 48th. So what I want to do is I want to paint these with this AMT12 dark gray. It's a nice kind of dirty gray color. Might throw a little bit of brown into it just to mix things up, but basically I want it to be just kind of not black, not light, dark gray. And then I want to mix in some super clear matte just so it goes down flat and all that good stuff. But for the brake lines, I am using 0 0.10 inch, I don't know the metric conversion off the top of my head, uh, lead wire. So I think this is probably about 0.3 millimeters, something like that. And because it is metal, technically being lead, I want to go ahead and make sure that it will hold the paint, especially as I am coming around and bending it and shit. So I have some VMS 4K metal prep. I don't know why it's 4K, but whatever. Okay, so forget what I was just doing. I remembered that I have this handy can of Rust-Oleum self-etching metal primer. That's this kind of grungy gray color. It'll make a good base for painting that AMD 12. So I'm gonna step out into the driveway, shoot some of this, and we'll be right back. Okay, so we've got the lead wire sitting all happy. We've got the AMT-12 loaded into the airbrush, mixed with some MRP mat. Let's go to town. Now the hardest thing to do is to paint this shit when it's wiggling. So my thinking is maybe if I kind of brace it over here. Okay, next up we're gonna paint the wingtip lights. So for this I'm gonna be using AKRC clear red like we used on the underside lights and some Tamiya clear blue because I don't have any AK clear blue. So we'll just have to make do with the Tamiya clear blue. Now this is one where I keep losing track of which part is which. So I keep having to look at the fucking instructions. J3 is the blue. J4 is the red. There's three right there. And the cool thing about these Tamiya transparencies is that if you go over here on the back side, there are little indentations. So no drilling shit out with these. It's already there for you. Which makes life super easy. Basically, we just come in here like this. Kind of nuts that even a toothpick is maybe a bit too big for this. And that's pretty much it. Now if you look at it from another angle, it's got the blue in there. And then we're going to put some uh, silver behind that once it dries up a little bit. Let's set that down, switch over to the red. Flip that over. Hey, look at that, red. Cool. That's literally all there is to it. So we're gonna let those dry before we put silver on the back of them. Just kind of makes them pop a little bit more once they're installed. And that's that for that. Okay, let's go ahead and do some brake line routing, shall we? So I've got my nice shiny dental mixing pad right here. Got my gear stretch right here. Now, the way that P47 brake lines work is they basically route up into the gear bay, sort of at the 
back inside portion of the gear strut. So right here, kind of by this cross piece. And they come down this way. And they go through, so the, so this is sort of the upper gear door, right? And these little points that stick out, which you kind of have to see that way. But these little points that stick out basically connect to this cross piece right here from behind. So these come down this way and they come in, they go essentially, I believe, behind this cross piece and then through here and then they attach to the to the oleo scissor and come around and they come around sort of on the inside front of this area here and we've got to be careful to not put them too deep because when you put them too deep what happens is the way that the gear strut mounts to the door is like that, where it's pretty inset, so you can't go running stuff down the sides or any of that bullshit. So my plan is to at least get them started with CA. I would love to use PVA glue for a bunch of this because it won't fog or any of that kind of stuff, but I want a good connection to hold it when I start doing the actual bending and routing. So right up in here for each of these, I'm gonna glue it with CA. And for that, I'm gonna be using Loctite Super Gel because it doesn't really fog, unlike other CAs. And when it does fog, it only fogs exactly where you've put it. So if we just put a little tiny dab up in the very top corner, it won't be seen. Got the airbrush, needle, picking up a little bit of CA on it. A little dab right there. So I'm going to let that sit for a minute. Do the exact same thing on this other one. Okay, so we're just going to hold that like that. Wait a few minutes and we'll come back when it's nice and happy. And tell you what, we're waiting for those to set. Let's go ahead and knock out the silver backing for the for the wingtip lights. For this I'm using what is it? MRP F89. This is their figure acrylic line, but it's just silver. I need to see if they have a chrome, honestly, because the Molotow was rather disappointing. So there's that, and then when we flip it over, See how nice and prominent that gets. It'll look really cool once they go on the wings.
it's routing quite nicely. <laughs> no good way to hold it while this sets. Give that a few minutes and we will finish it off. Okay, we've given these things a hot minute, so. Damn it. You're supposed to hold there. Might be a tricky matter of uh, maybe installing it into the door and then going. I don't know. Good news is I think once we get it where it really needs to go in these couple of places. It should be nice and good to go. I got one down. Sweet. Just for shits and giggles. Let's go ahead and double check. That'll do nicely. Perfect. Okay, well I let those have their time to do their shit. Maybe we'll go ahead and do the uh, wingtip lenses, get them installed. Now the tricky part with these things is they do not hold the tweezers well at all because they're so rounded. So you almost have to sneak up on it. Like that. There's one wingtip light installed.
That one didn't go quite as cleanly, but it went. Okay, so what all do we have left? Well, not all that much, really. The pitot tube has to be installed over here. Obviously, we have to install the gear struts, gear doors, wheels, and all that good business. Wheels are looking nice and ready to go. And then we have to put the cowl on, and that's pretty much it. Then this thing, oh, and the uh, the antenna and the gun sight. So not that much really remaining. Um, we're closing in on the end of a rather long build, longer than I anticipated. So I'm going to stop here for the night, and we'll pick up tomorrow, and who knows, we might actually finish this damn thing tomorrow.